Hello. Um, today I want to talk about exponents. So introduce this concept and then introduce a couple of rules to compute uh, the expression involving exponents. Uh, so let me start from uh, this expression, a plus a plus a. So uh, this is only three. You add three a's, but uh, you don't want to you know, the write down a like I say a hundred times, right? So that's why we just uh, we just define this to be just a times three or three a, right? And similarly, uh, now knowing the multiplication, so then now you can just repeat, okay? Then again, uh, this is only three times, so, so you can easily write down, but you don't want to write this down 100 times. Okay? So that's why now, uh, again, we make a you know, the convenient, you know, the, we make a convention um, to write this down, namely you know, on the shoulder. So I write just a small three here. Okay? So then uh, this is a raised to three. And then this is called either power or exponent. Okay. Okay. And then, so this A is called base. Okay. Now, uh, you can actually keep going this. You know, the, but the interesting thing at this point is, uh, for these two, the basic operation, you have commutative laws. So in other words, A plus B is equal to B plus A, okay? And then A times B is equal to B times A, okay? So these are identities, okay? So, okay. so two expressions are equivalent. So it means this is true for all, all A, B, yeah, okay? And unfortunately, the, uh, I, I can prove this. But uh, you, you, it's hard to understand for you for this level. Okay? So if you want to prove this, so you have to measure in mathematics. Yeah, okay? so, so I won't do that here. Okay. But the point is this. Going up to this exponent, so now I can switch this. A raised to B, okay? and then B raised to A. Now the important thing is that they're, they're, they're no longer equal okay, anymore. So they're not identity. Okay? So, uh, to say no, again, you know, it's easy. I mean, you can do that, right? So what do you have to do? You have to give me a count exam. Okay? Can you give me? Small one. Three and five. Uh, make it smaller? Yeah, sorry. Three and four. Four? Okay. Three and four. So let's try. Okay. Your left hand side, which is A raised to B, three raised to four, which is three times three times three times three. So which is 81. Then your right hand side is four raised to three, which is now four times four times four, which is 64. Okay, so they are not equal. Okay, so that's why yes, the answer answer is no. Okay, so so well, so so this is this is not equal in general. Or now this is not okay, not an identity. Okay? Then now um, I want to introduce a couple of identities actually works for exponent. Um, To introduce, uh, let's start with the example. For example, uh, a cube um, times a squared, which is what? As an identity. Typical mistake is oh, that's a multiplication. So the mistake is a raised to 6. 
3 times 2. Okay? What's the correct answer here? That's really 5, right? The reason is because you look at the meaning of this. So a cubed means a times a times a. Okay? Times a squared is a times a. So you really have to count the number of a's. So that's why the general rule is a raised to m times a raised to n. If you multiply the whole thing, now you have to, you have to add exponent. Right? So this is one of the exponent rules. Okay. Hmm? Then similarly, uh, you can do that for uh, division. Okay? So for example, So what you have to do, a to the 6 divided by a squared. So again, the typical mistake is, oh, 6 by divided by 2 is a 3. Okay? But the, the correct answer is a raised to 4. Okay? Because the meaning of this, you have 6 a's divided by, so you have two of them. Then, so we can cancel two of them. So the rest is really a raised to four. So in other words, the real rule is, um, right here. Okay. So a raised to m divided by a raised to n is a raised to m minus n, okay? So for the division, so you have to subtract the exponent, okay? Okay, so now uh, in mathematics, uh, people want to extend the definition uh, which keeps the original rule as well, okay? So, so what I mean is, um, for example, let's look at, say, a, say, a raised to 4 over a raised to 4, okay? Then, well, of course, you know the answer because it's just the same thing. So, of course, this is obviously 1, okay? But let's just formally apply this rule, okay, to that. So, you have a two exponents, so that what you have to do is you have to subtract the exponent, okay? So, if you do that, so now you get a raised to zero, okay? And on the other hand, this must be, from the meaning, this is obviously one, okay? So that's why now, to make this rule works for the different exponent, so we have to define a raised to zero is equal to one, okay? So this rule comes from, you no, know, so that we like the exponent row for the extending okay, the exponent. So that's why we define this way. Okay? The typical mistake is um, a raised to 0 is equal to 0. Okay? But uh, it's not true. Okay? You can even extend this to the negative exponent. Okay? So for example, if you formally apply the exponent law for now 2 and 5, so then you have a raised to 2 minus 5, okay? which is now you have a raised to negative 3. Okay? On the other hand, if you look at the original meaning of this, then this time again, you can cancel a squared from both. That's why this is equal to now 1 over a cubed. Okay? So that's why if you like this rule okay, to, to hold for the negative exponent, then you must define a raised to negative power to be like this. Okay? So that's why now this forces the new definition. a raised to the negative 3 is equal to 1 over a cubed. Yes. Yeah. 